In this module, I'm going to teach you how to do a standard vehicle recording. Notice once we've connected, the main screen we've come to is our fault screen. To do the recording, we're going to need to go to the Parameters tab. Here's the full list of all the vehicle parameters that the vehicle is currently reading. In order for us to create this recording, we're going to either need to use a pre-built data list, or we're going to have to create our own. To do so, we're going to click on the Favorite Parameters icon located here. Once in this screen, if we go up to the top, you'll notice that we have pre-built sessions that Texa finds helpful for technicians. You can either choose one of these, or you can create your own. To do so, you just have to go to the Add symbol here. Once we've clicked this symbol, now we can either manually select each individual parameter that we want to view, or we can use the search function to speed up the process. Just type in the keyword of the parameter that you're looking for. Remember, you can choose as many or as little as you like. Then click the OK icon once you've made your selections. Here you'll name the list. This is a custom made list, so name it whatever you choose. Click the check icon. We have now made our own session of parameters that we want to view specifically. Now to record it, we'll just hit the diagnosis recording icon located here. Then you can set your record length from 30 minutes all the way down to one minute in one minute intervals. And now we're just going to click the record icon. The recording is now in session. Once you finish your recording, all you have to do is hit the stop recording icon. Now that we've saved our recording, I'm going to teach you how to find the file path, save that recording, and review it later. To do so, we'll need to exit out of the self-diagnostic portion of the program by using the X in the upper right hand corner. Now we're at the customer management section. Here you'll be able to enter a new customer. Or you can add the recording to an existing file already saved. But let's enter a new customer. In order to do that, we need to save that information under the license plate number. Notice the asterisk. Whatever information you need to find this later will be added to the license plate number box here. Then you can fill in as little or as much information in the following boxes as you like. Click the next icon. This is telling you you can add this license plate number to another vehicle, or you can create a new one. Add as much or as little information in the box as you like. And then click Save. So we have now saved our recording. To view that recording, we can view it here. We can delete it here. Now to show you how to get back to that, we're going to exit out of the customer management. Notice the icon here to the left. This is where you will locate those files. However, all of the icons up top, if I go back to my main screen, you'll notice that the icon disappears. I just merely need to make a vehicle selection. It can be random or exact. And now you'll notice that the customer management tab has reappeared. Simply click the icon. Now you can either manually search for it, or you can use the search function. Once we've located our file, we can now view from here. And here is a copy of our snapshot recording that we just performed. You can also add operator notes and print. This concludes making a standard vehicle recording. Please continue to the next module.